Leanne and you're on Truth and Grace. Uh, we've had a couple new subscribers, which is awesome. Welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Um, I post videos on just kind of life, homeschooling, um, things that the Lord is teaching me and I feel like I want to share that kind of thing. Um, and I'm pretty inconsistent about it, so you never know when you're going to hear from me. Uh, but today I wanted to share on the Bible, uh, kind of the Bible lessons that I've been working with on my kids and how that has evolved. So as you know, we are fully homeschooling this year and I am loving it. It's hard work and um, it's nonstop and it never ends, but it is amazing. I absolutely love it. The pros and benefits of homeschooling our kids greatly outweigh the, um, the cons that I've noticed. And actually there's very few cons that I've come into contact with so far. So when we first started homeschooling, I started with a morning basket, and part of that was Bible, and I was using this Usborne Bible Stories, which I love this book. It's beautiful, um, beautiful pictures in it, and that's why I started with it, because of the pretty pictures. I thought it would appeal to my younger kids with the pictures, my older kids with the stories, um, but what I noticed doing Bible Stories is when I would read them the story, the kids were interrupting me a lot because they wanted to share. They wanted to talk and they wanted to, um, if they knew the story already, they wanted to tell me about the story or, or where they had learned it either in school last year or at um, church, what lesson they had learned there. And I just realized they wanted it to be more interactive than, um, than like a read aloud. So I still really love this, um, but it's not what we're using anymore. And fortunately, I fell into a couple weeks where I didn't do Bible with them at all. Um, and I found that I was very stressed out. Their behavior was not good. They weren't coming to the schoolroom with happy hearts and wanting to learn. And um, one of my girlfriends said, well, what are you doing in Bible? And I was like, nothing. We haven't done anything in Bible. She said, well, maybe you should do that. Pray before you start. I'm like, ah, novel idea. So I was like, what do I want to do? I, I know that the Lord has told me over and over when he first started talking to me about homeschooling my kids, he just kept saying, I just kept hearing, stay home and go slow. Stay home and go slow. And so I didn't want to add another curriculum, like lesson plan onto what we already had. I wanted it to kind of be free and easy and, and to be able to work on, like if I noticed a certain issue that we're having with siblings arguing, then we can, in, in Bible, we can go to something about arguing or I just wanted it to be kind of free and easy. And so what I've been doing over the last week, which is awesome, is just going over the parables with the kids. So in your Bible, um, just get a Bible and if it's a red letter Bible, the red letters are what Jesus says and you just talk about the parables. He taught a lot in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Actually one of them. I don't think he teaches in John. There's one of them that the parables aren't in. Um, but he teaches a lot of parables through the gospel. And so um, I've just been flipping through and reading a, gospel, a parable to them. And then we talk about it. So, for example, today's parable was Matthew. We did the wise and the foolish builders. And so what I did was I just read their parable, which is like it's only a few. It's only five verses. So I read the five verses to them. And then we talked about what it stands for. Like I would say, what do you think the rock stands for? Is Jesus telling, you know, a home builder to find a rock and build their house on the rock? And they're like, no, the rock is Jesus. I'm like, yes. And is he telling you how to build a house? No, he's telling you how to live your life. And your heart is the house because that's where you live. That's your heart is what's precious. Think about a home is your pride and joy. It's where you live. It's where you do life. Your heart is the same way. It's, it controls your thoughts and it's um, where your passions lie. And so he's telling you that your heart has to be on the foundation of Jesus. And so we just talked about that. And then we talked about um, where it says the winds beat against the house, uh, yet it didn't fall because his house was built on the foundation. So we have to have scripture memorized so that when we do have troubles in this life, because we're going to, um, some are just small like a rain shower and some are huge like a hurricane 
Um, but when we do have those troubles, we have the scripture already memorized that we can just pull from it. Um, and it becomes a discussion. The kids can tell me what they think. They can answer the question. They can give an example of um, how to live this out, that kind of thing. And it's become really great because I just read a few short passages. We discuss it. We talk about it. And then we pray and we move on with our day. And it's wonderful. The very first parable we did was... Um, the what about scattering the seeds? And I don't remember where it is, but basically it was talking about scattering the seeds and you have to have good soil for your seeds to land. And um, you know, if they land in the thorns, they won't be able to grow. If they land on the path, the birds might come and snatch them. Um, but if they land on good, well-tended soil, then they'll have an opportunity to grow. And so that was great that that was our first lesson because now on the to-do list, I will say, tend your soil, which means pray, read your Bible, um, and then I'll say, tend somebody else's soil, tend your sibling soil, find a way to encourage and love on um, and maybe teach in some way, be Jesus' Jesus's hands and feet to your sibling and tend to your sibling soil. Um, and so that's been really great. I'm going to show you, hang on, I'm going to bring you with me. I'm going to show you our chalkboard. I've rearranged things a bit since we started fully school homeschooling. So we'll sit at this table now. The table's in here. We'll sit at this table now and we'll do our homeschooling. We'll talk about our Bible. And then on the chalkboard here, I will write a verse at the top that I want them to learn. Um, and that'll be their copy work for the day, and they can copy that down. And then we'll just write, like here it says Jesus, the rock is Jesus, rain, wind, and water is the troubles and the devil, um, and then our to-do list over here. So it's been a really great, fun way to start our school day, and it's really helped a lot. Um, I've noticed a huge change in my kids' attitudes. They're ready to come to schoolwork now. When I ask them to come sit, more often than not, now they're happy to, to be with me and to do schoolwork and that kind of thing. So it really has been wonderful. It's an easy way to just jump into doing Bible lessons with your kids without a lot of stress, and it only takes a few minutes. So anyway, I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope this is a helpful tip, and I will see you again soon. Bye!